This episode is sponsored by Amazon Coins and Prime Day 2019. Amazon Coins are a digital currency that allows you to buy Android apps, games, and in-game items for less. Prime Day is here. For a limited time, Marvel Strike Force players who are Prime members can purchase a $29.99 pack for 67% off through the Amazon App Store for Android. Remember, you can get $50 in Amazon Coins for only $35 with Amazon's latest deal. So if you're playing Marvel Strike Force and want to get more orbs at even greater discount, make sure to take advantage of this Prime Day and save even more money. Click the link below to check out our Prime Day deal details for Marvel Strike Force and other games as well, like Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius, Guns of Glory, and Clash of Kings. This deal is available in the US only. Amazon Coins is available in US, UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Australia, and Japan. Hello my beautiful little mugglets. So today we are talking about Celestial Mercedes. I recently raised her. We got her ult to plus 5, which means 30% more damage. And this one is only at plus 4, but it's still 20% more damage, plus she'll have the attack buff from this. Unfortunately, her stats, as you can see, uh, decent attack actually at 3500, 244 crit damage, which isn't bad, 100 crit chance. The thing obviously here lacking is speed at 110, so it's pretty bad. I think, unfortunately, what we have to do is give her speed boots which is a little bit unfortunate. We're not gonna go so far as to give her a speed set, but at least speed boots for sure. I couldn't find a good way to get her with 100 crit chance without three crit chance sets because I wanted to give her the crit damage necklace, but it might also work to give her a crit chance necklace and go for like a crit damage set, but I don't have very many crit damage pieces, so. Also, I don't have any crit chance speed boots, even though I had so many of them. I do have some here, but they're only 35 speed. Uh and we would be missing some crit chance then as well. Let's see if we got any new ones we could upgrade. Not those, she doesn't really need effectiveness for this strategy. She does have some things like I think unhealable, but who cares. And I'm not gonna raise any more 70 boots. I think that's actually it, damn. We have like so many boots going on here, we could raise one from one to 15 pretty easily, but there are none. I mean, we have so many 15 boots that we're not using because they just don't fit the specific need of someone immediately. And I don't think even with 40 boots, she's going to be fast enough, actually. I mean, we could do this and try and get the crit chance somewhere else. At least for now. So I don't want to take boots off people I'm using, you know? I don't want to be switching around that gear all the time. Well, I've already taken some gear off of Shuri, so may as well. These would be the ones I would need, to be honest. Also could consider Ravi. Mm, that delicious 22% attack, but I don't want to take gear off Ravi because I use her regularly, especially now after her buff. Well, sure it is. Rip. As you can see, I have so much less gold than I used to because I've been crafting a ton of necklaces, trying to get a good necklace. Look at all these 85s I got going on here, but they're like no good ones. I was crafting some other things too. Still didn't get anything good. We're gonna have five too much crit chance now, so maybe we can uh, swap something else out. Now she has 150 speed, which is still too low. I need her to be a little bit faster than Biken, because I would like my plan to be Judith, boost them all, Mercedes goes, Biken goes, boost Mercedes back to the front, and then she can use her second skill with the attack buff, and hopefully, you know, just kill everyone. That, that'd be good. So we can sacrifice five crit chance somewhere. All these have like 10 or more. This has six. This is such a sad story. 25% health. Well, if we change this, we would uh, have another four here and only miss two percent also would be on the hit set but we also get four speed which is something let's try doing this whatever i don't care about gold i guess now we need three plus crit chance let's see if we got any effectiveness helmets here's four no speed though i kind of need speed 12 speed but nothing else six speed 10 crit chance we don't need that much crit chance well i kind of want to go for that <laughs> 27 attack 20 crit damage that's a solid helmet. Yeah, that's actually not bad now. Just bring her in arena and try and actually see what's going on first. Let's do that. Because mainly I'm building her for arena, even though I would kind of need more good AoE for, for this thing. You can see we already kind of screwed up everywhere we tried. Um, that's when I just kind of gave up for the day. Let's refresh this so we don't have to see that anymore. <laughs> uh, whatever, let's try this first team. Doesn't look like anyone super dangerous in there. Ooh, not, 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 not that team. This is the one we were trying. Got says in there to clean up as well. This team is a little bit weird, to be honest. Whatever. Let's just see what's going on first. I don't care if I lose. I just got to see what's going on. Here we go. Our Judith is faster. Oh, is that enough? Is that enough combat readiness there? 69. She'd go to 99. Yeah, we're good. Barely. 
Jeez, they're fast. All right. I actually don't want to kill her, though, because I want Mercedes to get that 80% combat readiness. So let's go for this bike and hopefully not kill her. Should get that combat readiness boost. Boost. Boom. Oh, she died. What a sad. Let's see what this does. No attack boost yet. Well, unfortunately, one died, but... Decent. Decent. Mmm, look at that. We don't... Not even gonna care. Just go in there and, uh, see a Vildred. Wow. That was really cool. Alright, let's try that again. Mmm. I know, I'm still a scrub in Challenger, but like... You know. Oh, I don't want to go for a tank team. All right, let's go for a sort of mixed tank. There's no Crow at least. I don't like Crow, but there's the Panda dude. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. We're just in the experimental stage right now. We might have to switch around some things. We are faster, thankfully. Combat readiness is good. Yeah, we're fine. I'm glad I raised uh, her skill there, or it probably wouldn't have been fine. I don't know if Dizzy would die from the AOE. Let's go for Biken again. We can burn Sez's ult if necessary. Go ahead and do this again. Sez should be next anyway, so we're fine. Probably. Burn on Dizzy. Probably burning on the bear would have worked as well. I'm just uh, gonna hope that the splash kills the bear. Boom! It did. We can auto now. Alright, pretty, pretty cool. Whenever I start getting in here and just start obliterating people, I'm like, man, I should be higher than Challenger, and then I come up against one team that just completely obliterates me. But I guess that is the cleave life. One wrong move, one, one wrong stat, and you're dead. Oh, Moonlight Vildred. Uh, <laughs> our Lilibet doesn't have any gear. So, I mean, if my Lilibet did have gear, of course I would just swap her in. Easy peasy. You know, but she kind of doesn't. For the really late game players that can have really good gear on such a niche hero like Lilibet, she's good. But I don't have like awesome gear just to throw around on side units, you know, ones that come in handy one out of every five battles. Probably more often, again, for the higher players, right? But for my case, Eh, I'm just gonna rather skip it. Judith versus Judith. I don't know who else has a speed imprint here. Whatever, yellow swag. Oh no, that Judith's gonna be faster, even if it's just RNG. <gasps> Whew, okay. Thank God. Yikes, that was really close. What is she at, 99, 97? This is like super cleave. Didn't even bother getting his rose to 50. Oh, it's just for the combat readiness and attack increase. And then those two AOEs, if they ever get a chance to move, which they won't, would obliterate my entire team for sure. Um, but yeah, for now, I don't want to actually kill anyone. Unfortunately, this might kill. Boom. No, no bleeds, actually, thankfully. Let's do this. See ya. Biz bop. Boom. Yeah, that was sick. Oh, no, this is a super cleave team. A level 30 Helga. I know for a fact Helga does have the speed imprint. I've been thinking about putting her in there as well. Most of the time, it seems like I don't even really need Sez. He's just a backup sort of dude. Um, but then I can like burn his ult and obliterate someone. It's just, I really doubt I'm going to be faster here because I know for a fact Helga is a speed imprint. Vildred is speed imprint. Damn. Gonna make sure Bellona isn't. Yeah, she's health percent. Which is kind of weird, actually, but whatever. Whoa, does she go bald when you go back? Whoa, look at that. That's crazy. I'm going to pause it for you guys. Maybe it's not exactly how I see it, but, um, yeah, cool. I know for a fact we would lose this, so I'm not going to try. I'll try for you guys' entertainment, okay? Yeah, this is probably more of a of a proper- What? Dude! I don't want to kill everyone, I want to kill everyone with uh, my new Mercedes. Don't do it! No! Come on. Okay. Boom! Get wrecked. I was so expecting to be slower than that Judith. What? Uh, another Moonlight Vildred. Damn. I'm seeing them more and more, even though, like, I'm not high. It's weird. Like, if you have Moonlight Vildred, what the hell are you doing in Challenger 5, dude? If I had Moonlight Vildred, I'd probably find Arena actually fun, you know? <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Wow. Three. Five star. Moonlight heroes. What's wrong with you? I really hope we can win this one, because I just want to show them. want to show them with my free-to-play, pretty much. Look at me! Barriers. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that problem. The barrier from Moonlight. Cecilia. I know if I don't get rid of her, she's going to cause big 
big problems. I wonder if I could do that with uh, Sez and Mercedes. I just hope Sez will get bumped up uh, further than Ruzid with her ult here. With just Cecilia and Ruzid, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. So I should probably try and make sure that they're squishy enough that Sez's splash will kill them. That was kind of dumb because it's like bleeds won't really explode now. Uh, but hopefully this will do enough so that Sez can one shot. Oh, wow. Nice. Damn. I almost want to go for Cecilia. Let's try. That was dumb, but like, maybe we can do it. Oh no, why am I so stupid? Don't, please kill. Oh, thank God. That was really stupid though. Like, as long as the Moonlight Ara would have died, we would have been safe. Uh, I mean, I still think it'd be so much better if I could get Mercedes speed higher than Bikens. You know, at least 10 higher than Bikens so that RNG won't won't mess that up. Well, I guess it could still. It'd probably need to be 20 higher for it to never mess up. Because hers could be 10 lower and Bikens could be 10 higher. Does it work on an individual basis or just all? I don't want to mess with Bikens speed because she can consistently, with Judith's boost, outspeed everyone else. And she's only at 168, so I need to get... Damn, I, I would need to get this slow ass Celestial Mercedes to like 180, 190. I don't know if she'd have any power left. Why do I have so much effectiveness? Oh yeah, I have an effectiveness set. She can do unhealable, you know, 30% chance. I mean, the gear doesn't have a ton of crit chance on it. This has 10, that has 10, none, and well, 17. So I could keep the boots and maybe the ring because it also has eight speed, but then I need four speed things with a lot of crit chance on them because I need to make up 44 crit chance in substats from four speed pieces. This is such a freaking good helmet though. I don't want to get rid of it. Managing gear is so annoying, I swear. We'll get this necklace up to plus three. If it goes to crit chance, we'll raise it. I know it's attack and not crit damage, but I don't have that many options. This one, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it with effectiveness and flat attack. We'll just have to use one of these. Come on, crit chance. Flat defense. May as well go up one more. Good chance. One more flat defense. Oh, flat attack. Okay, I'm done with you. Well, we got this speed sword. We're going to get up to three first. See if it goes to not effectiveness. Okie dokie. Well, after looking through all my other gear, this is honestly my only hope without destroying one, one of my other characters that I use often. So let's just hope it goes twice to crit rate and um, yeah, just like at least not effectiveness anymore, please. Ooh. We need 12 on the weapon. Crit chance, crit chance, crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. Crit damage. She would have 98 crit chance. Has nearly perfect subs, but they're just so low it doesn't matter. You know? Eh, we're gonna dump it in there. Kinda hurts, even so, but... Effect Why is it always effect resistance? And I know as soon as I get to plus 15, it's gonna boost effect resistance. Alright, so here are her stats now. Unfortunately, quite low crit damage. Um, not that much more attack, but 174 speed, which, damn, isn't even enough. Biken has 168. Why do I still have so much effectiveness? Everything has effectiveness. Why? All right, forget it. I'm really sorry, Luna. I'll give you your stuff back eventually, but I need that 18 crit chance helmet. So now we're nine over, which means we can swap this sword out with a sword that doesn't have any. Uh, for example, this one. And we'd have 99 crit chance then. Yeah, I guess we're going with this one. Yeah, see, now we have 3,500 attack. What? How, actually? Oh, very low crit damage. Yikes. 182 speed, though, which might be enough to consistently outspeed Biken. It's still not for sure, but high chance to do so. And even if we don't, it's probably not the end of the world. Let's go and give this a try. I still have no idea what's going to happen, but... Let's at least do, oh, we don't have any arena tickets anymore. Oh snap, we gotta do our guild war as well. Can we use, can we use her in guild war actually? I wouldn't know. It's a, she's a little bit less effective here because um, she can only get a max of 60% combat readiness with her ult now. All right, we're gonna do a risky play here. We're gonna do Judith, Biken, and Mercedes up at front and just really hope Mercedes is faster because even if it's only 60%, uh, Biken might give enough still. Oh, but Dizzy only has a level one Taga Hell book now. Since there's Shadow Rose there, we probably need Judith down there. Okay, well, 
Let's just really pray to God we get those debuffs, or else we are so screwed. Oh, and then also, damn, I forgot all those dudes I have with me are slow. We got the miss and attack down, so we're probably okay. Ooh, she's still crit. But at least we can burn Shermia's ult to probably ensure Bellona dies. Ooh, okay, that was definitely overkill. I don't think we can kill Luna with Sez. It's gonna barely break the barrier. Whoa, nope. Oh, and it's a crit. Wow, another crit. Okay, we're giving up on this one so our Shermia also doesn't die and Dizzy and everyone else because that battle is lost. Uh, and now here we go. Who's first? Okay, thankfully it's her. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. See if this works. This is actually what I wanted to see anyway. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Uh, now we could actually kill someone. Why did I go for her? I have no idea. I can't think anymore. Oh, she died anyway. Excellent. Now we can do this. Boom! Get wrecked. So that worked out, kinda. Draw, unfortunately. Better than a complete loss. And now Sez is dead, so we have to give something to Luna because we only have, like, <laughs> not that many built units at one time, especially for, like, Guild War, you know? I have some that I never change gear on, like Angelica, Crozet, uh, the dudes for Wyvern. Well, I mean, Luna's also for Wyvern, but I needed that helmet. Yeah, the main problem is I don't have the book for Dizzy. This is what's really holding me back from just going in because... I know I can't burn it. I actually don't need 20 souls in that team. Of course, it's always nice to have those 20 souls, but I definitely need it for Dizzy more, especially now that Sez is dead and I can't burn his ult. By the way, a little tip, which I probably should have implemented last battle, you can actually leave. Uh, so if you're sure the battle is lost, you can leave as soon as one of your character dies, as long as you hit the forfeit button, you know, before they explode and they won't actually die. I could have done that, but I wasn't super sure if I wanted to give up at that point. Uh, it looks like she's faster. She is indeed. Here we go. Oh, hopefully the, the, the dude doesn't have the thing. Yes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The artifact that boosts their combat readiness all the time. Oh, is that gonna be enough combat readiness? What does that actually do? 25%? See what we're at? I mean, it would be, but I just saw Luna get bumped up from something. Boom. Here we go. Get in there. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so this actually doesn't seem to be too bad, this uh, this uh, three-man team there. But this one I'm struggling with a lot. It's more RNG, because if they resist the combat readiness pushback, then I could be screwed. I definitely prefer combat readiness increasers. Please. Okay, thank God. So we should be able to kill Haste with Luna and Biken with Shermia. All right, let's try this cleave. Gonna try and cleave your cleave, even though I know that Vildred now gives a speed imprint. Yikes. Close. Ooh, very, very close. Jeez. Well, whatever. Let's do this, first of all. Ka-chunk. Nice. Uh, yep. Basically, just gotta kill those two, and then we're pretty much good anyway. Check out single target on this uh, second skill there. Yeah, it's definitely not bad, considering it could hit four, you know? Oh no! He didn't get pushed back. Who are you going for? Oh, you missed! Very sad day for you. How? And why did you miss? Does he give that freaking evasion to everyone? I, I don't know what's going on with this game anymore, to be honest. Just want to make sure she dies. Please kill. Please kill! Nice. All right, so two wins and a draw, not too bad. And we definitely, we're like 2K Havoc ahead now, so I think we're good. So yeah, well, I don't actually want to run through anything else right now because I'm kind of exhausted from all the gear switching. Uh, I should mention that I believe she is actually very good in as a Manic Hunt as well. Haven't tested it, but I know you need AoE here. And she has some good AoE, maybe for Golem Hunt, although mm, maybe not. She can do unhealable, but pretty low chance unless you Mulligore that up and get her effectiveness. Uh, unhealable is pretty interesting, but then like Shermia has unhealable as well. Uh, Hazel has unhealable. So for an auto Banshee and not like one shot Banshee team, she could be decent because of the AOE on those little minions. For Secretary Vera, can imagine decent, although I just use Ravi there. 
one shots them with her ult uh, and then he is so squishy but maybe for the hell mode vera you know need some aoe julie of council perhaps splits off without cheese automaton tower of course if you want to run through it fast probably like the first 60 70 floors she's going to be awesome because uh, you know two of her skills are aoe and there are only two stages per floor so yeah she can go through it pretty quickly just using her ult and her second and also of course adventure mode story mode anywhere where there's a bunch of enemies you know aoe in general is good there but she can give herself an attack buff too you know ult then second skill and if she's strong enough she can get through the first two waves the last wave is a boss you know if you're hunting epic catalysts so then you have some single target damage in there to finish that off so all in all i'm really enjoying her i think to get her maximum potential probs i need to get her a little bit faster even though that's kind of hard because I have to keep sacrificing more and more stats. Uh, but the synergy with Biken is actually pretty nice. But then also I might have to consider just like two AoEs, an, an AoE defense breaker like Bellona and then Mercedes. That could be pretty good, but I don't have Bellona, you know. But yeah, there she is. One more look at, at her gear if you want. Even with low crit damage, she seemed to be doing a decent chunk of damage. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you have to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.